Now, if you hit a point where you are just not excited to go to the easel, you need a bit of a renewal in your love for art. One of the things that you can do is completely change up wherever it is that you're painting or drawing. So if you've been painting and drawing inside for the most part, get outside. Not in Texas, it's 100 degrees. If you're in a normal place, go outside if you've got a park local to you. I had a place that I, I went to once back at my old apartment. There was a trail and it was so nice to go out there and paint. I did it with the Ink Tense Travel set once. It was so much fun. It made me excited to do it again. Like it was just such an amazing feel to go feel feeling to go somewhere completely new where I'd never gone before and paint or draw. Take a sketchbook. You don't have to take a lot with you. Take a pencil, take a sketchbook, go outside and draw some trees. If you are like me in Texas where it's 100 degrees, that may not be the funnest place to go draw. Change the environment that you're in. So like, again, back with me, I used to paint, my bedroom was my, my studio forever. I could reorganize, not reorganize, what's the word? Move the furniture around, my brain just shut down. Move the furniture around into a completely different configuration. One of the bedrooms that I was painting in, where my easel was located, I just never felt like motivated, I wasn't excited to paint. I eventually moved it across the room, opposite corner. The feel, I don't know if it's like a feng shui type thing, I don't know what the feeling, why that was so different for me, but I was so much more motivated to sit in my little corner. I like to feel a little bit more boxed in than have things open, but I was more motivated to sit in there and paint or draw. Like I got so much more work done when I adjusted where it was I had been working. You can also redecorate. Your studio is your bedroom. Maybe a new duvet cover or a comforter or so, like throw a quilt over your bed. Change the colors, change the paintings you have on your wall. You're an artist, you can make yourself some new paintings. Change the look in there, light a candle, like set the mood. The next thing that you can do to get yourself more in the mood and more motivated to paint or draw is the music. Change the music. So like with me, I normally listen to audiobooks, but if I put on music instead, that sometimes will just change that feeling and I'm excited to get in there and work. Or if you always listen to a certain type of music, change the style of music. Now I'm not saying to something you don't like, but to something that you don't normally listen to or you've not listened to in a long time. Techno, I've always loved techno. I can put on techno and it will make everything feel epic. Cleaning the house, epic. Trimming your toenails, definitely epic. Painting, the most of all epic. That difference, that change in music. You liked classical, but you haven't listened to it in a while, try putting on some Vivaldi. Try putting on something that you just haven't heard in a while. I don't know what it is about that kind of giving you this breath of like it's just a renew feeling of renewal for the passion to get back to the easel, to paint and draw. Change the look, change the environment, change the location, change something and see if that helps you get that passion for your art back.